Now today I'm going to be showing you guys a special, special treat. I'm going to be showing you my number one app, my go-to, my daily driver for movies, TV shows, and all streaming content. If that sounds interesting, let's hop right into it. You guys are going to love this app. Check it out. Streamio or Streamio. Not quite sure how to pronounce that, but either way, all you can watch. And believe me, it really is all you can watch. So this is the screen you're going to be welcome to when you open the app. But fear not, scroll down to login here and scroll all the way down to guest login. You're going to be welcome to this screen, right? And it's going to say top movies, top series. Pretty simple, right? But this is where this app gets really interesting. When I click on a movie, so let's take a movie, for example, Joker. By default, when I click on a movie, before you get this, you are going to be welcomed to this kind of screen. By default, this app redirects you to legal services where you can stream this film. Now, that's pretty good. I like that. I like that because it's one app. It's a hub and you can access multiple apps from this one app. Pretty interesting, right? But it's going to get more interesting because once you've got the same settings I have, not only will you get these legal sources, you're going to be getting the underground sources as well, which means unlimited movies, TV shows, and even IPTV. But the best bit is it's super simple to do. Just head over to the hamburger menu on this app and then scroll down to where it says add-ons. Click there. And you're going to be welcome to this screen. It's going to say all community and you're going to have all these add-ons that pop up. What I want you to go do is install pretty much every one of them. Press right and press install. That's all you got to do. It's super simple. And there'll be some that you may not need. So you just go and install all the add-ons that you're going to need. For example, I'm not going to be installing Iberian 2, but I'm going to be installing Juan Carlos Torrance. But that's just because that this is for Spanish speakers and this is for English speakers. But again, it's totally up to your preference. Personally, I recommend just downloading everything. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Look at me go, boys. Scrolling down that list. Scrolling down that list. And also, heads up, this has actually got some really good Anthony Bourdain content for you Anthony Bourdain fans. I know there's some of you out there. What is the most off-the-wall series you've ever seen? Comment that down below because uh, I need some off-the-wall ones now, you know? Mainstream is good. But you gotta vary it up a little bit, you know, add a little bit of spice with that sugar, pepper, salt, dunno, but let's keep installing these add-ons. Make sure you guys install Help Yourself IPTV from this add-ons list, because this is gonna allow you to access all your premium channels completely free. Seems like a no-brainer. It is. So see now I would install the sports ones, but quarantine. Quarantine has killed the sport guys. I'm so upset about that, but anyway. Here we go. So we've installed all the add-ons we need. There's only one thing left to do now, and that is to try it out. Let's hit that back button and let's go down to any one of these movies. So I'm going to go back to the Joker just for reference. I'm going to let you guys see the magic, the magic of this app, the potion. Let's see it right here. As you can see, we've still got our legal streaming services here. We've got them in HD, we've got them in SD, we've got them in 4K as well. But check what happens when we scroll below. We get 1080p, 720, 1080. Look, all these links. Look at that, look at that. Beauty, beauty, look at that. Blu-ray right there, 4K Joker. But here's the thing, this ain't joking around. This is real. Look at it, it's just amazing. Absolutely phenomenal. The amount of links that this app has, you're gonna be blown away by. Now, as you know, I would usually play them, but I can't due to copyright, unfortunately. But simply, you just click on a link and the logo will appear and it will just slowly start loading and your movie will play. What it does is it pre-caches the movie and you can also adjust the amount it pre-caches by in settings in case your internet is slow and we're gonna get on how to do that. It's pretty simple so don't worry about it but we'll get on to that in a few minutes. But first off I'm gonna show some series that I was able to find on this app and which Cinema APK, BTV and in which other streaming apps did not have and this does include Xeon as well. Searching on this app is super simple as well, it's super remote friendly running this on my Fire Stick 4K, and look, I'll tell you, I've had no problems whatsoever. Shout out to the developers right here, because this amazing app. As I was talking about before, Anthony Bourdain. Let's check it out. We've searched for Anthony Bourdain. Bang, bang, bang. Look at that. No reservations, Parts Unknown, and a cook store all on this app. Look at this. Let's go for Parts Unknown. I know that's his most popular series. And I tell you what, this is the best time to watch these kind of series, because just food and culture. I've been eating, I've been eating. Yo, my cupboard, it was full, but now it's been empty, you know what I'm saying? All right, let's get right to it though. But check this out, just more and more links. And bear in mind, TV shows tend to get a lot more dated a lot more quickly. So it's harder to find older links, but this, look at it go. And the way you know the link's gonna load, check this out. 
So right there, as you'll see, it says 720p. Below it, it has a little picture of a person. I mean, I hardly call it a person. I call it a person's head. But uh, five, it says next to that. What that means is that there's five people that are seeding this file. So what this actually is, is it scrapes torrents. It'll preload a segment of it and will then begin to play. That's how this app scrapes for links. And once enough has been loaded so that the stream doesn't freeze on you, then it will start playing. Now it's worth mentioning that this app does not allow you to use any sort of external players. So MX player, pff, out the window. Actually, it's funny enough, I do have a window there, but I can't be bothered to turn the camera around, mate. I mean, I've got my focus and all that, but no external players on this app, but it doesn't matter because the default player is super good. Just absolutely amazing. And in terms of browsing for movies and TV shows, this app is really brilliant as well. Just head over to the hamburger menu here and click on discover. You'll have movies, series, channels, TV channels, others, and a little bit the old cheeky ASMR. I told you this app also has IPTV, so if we go to Discover and we head over to TV channels, you will see that you're welcome to a lot of IPTV channels there, and that's because we installed that amazing little add-on, the live channels IPTV from the add-on section. But if you do go to the movies and series categories, you'll be able to browse through each specific movie genre. So you'll get your action, your comedy, your adventure, your sci-fi. Not only that, it also lets you know if the movie's still in cinema, like right here. Right now, Justice League and Scoob are still in cinema. Movies, series, channels, TV channels, others, ASMR again, and sports. Sports is a little bit temperamental now because there is no sport, but we've only got one section left, boys, and that is settings. So we'll head over into settings, and here everything is mostly fine. If you don't want to turn subtitles on, there is an option for default subtitles here. But as we head down into the streaming server category, so right next to where it says cache size, by default, it is set to no caching. If you do experience a little bit of buffering problems, depending on your internet, you know, the server where it's coming from could be slow as well. What this ultimately means is that it will cache up to two gigabytes before beginning to play. And what that means is that you get a smooth streaming experience. And then next up is autoplay. So I usually leave all this stuff alone, except for two things. I found that my personal experience with this app improved when I disabled hardware accelerated decoding and data saver. So I went in and unchecked those. It just gave me a smoother experience, but those work for you, keep them on. Unless you are experiencing any problems, leave all the settings at default. If you do experience problems, buffering and stuttering, that's when I recommend these settings. Now, there's a lot of controversy and there's a lot of, I don't wanna say hate, but there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of stickiness surrounding these P2P slash torrent streaming apps. And here's my two cents on it. Guys, look, whether you're streaming, whether it's a direct link or a torrent, your ISP can still see your data. They can still see the incoming packets, the incoming stream that's coming in, and they can also see what's outgoing. So regardless of whether you're torrenting or direct streaming, you need a VPN either way, especially if you're in the UK. Wow, wow, wow. My UK users, you guys need an amazing VPN. And the one I recommend is IPVanish VPN. Now, if you're in Canada or USA, I wouldn't say you need need a VPN, but I would always recommend it because uh, safety first, right? Look, listen, smashing deal on right now, $3.49 a month with IPVanish, but $3.49 a month in speed, there ain't even a price on it. Whenever I have IPVanish VPN on, I can't even tell it's on. That's, that's the craziest thing. Like, I'll leave it on, I'll start streaming something, and then I'll back out, and then I'll realize I need to geo and block some content, which by the way, IPVanish can also do, and then I'll realize, wait, it was already on. And you'll be like, that's the speed it was giving me when it was already on. Crazy stuff, crazy, crazy stuff. But the thing I love most about this app is just how simple it is to use. You simply install the app and you just hit connect. No settings, no configuration, I mean, you can if you want to, if you want to go that next level, but you don't have to, and that's the great thing, and the speeds are just amazing, the ease of use, amazing, the deals, phew, even more amazing. Go check my special link out if you do want a special discount, ultraarge.net slash IPVanish. Now installing this app is super simple. The first thing you want to do, if you haven't already, is go over to settings, and scroll over to My Fire TV. Head over into developer options and make sure allow apps from unknown sources is turned on. Back out of that and then head over to the downloader app. If you haven't already installed it, search it up, type in downloader and hit install. Open the app and in the box that appears, type in the following URL, http colon forward slash forward slash get dot linked dot com. Hit that go button and it will start downloading the app. Once it's done, simply hit that install button on the dialog box that appears and you are set 
unlimited movies and TV shows. This app you've installed is far linked unlimited apps, all updated by myself. I did a video reviewing my store last week, so go check that out if you haven't already. I go into depth on what's exactly in this store, but for this situation, scroll down to where it says, I don't know how to pronounce it again, Stremio. I'll never get it right, but scroll down to that. It's that beautiful diamond with the play button in it. Click on that and it will start downloading. Once that download button symbol turns into a play button, hit that and there you are. The dialog box is gonna pop up, you hit install and it will say app installed and you can go ahead and hit open. Smash that like button, smash that subscribe button so you're always notified and in the loop with all media streaming content. Make sure you're also following my Twitter and Instagram handles so you can stay up to date with the latest app and the latest news in the community. And I also do tweet regularly so any questions, any helping you with these apps, you know where to go. Although the comments are just as good as well. Speaking of the comments, comment down below. Comment down below best off the wall movies and TV series. St unexpected stuff. Stay safe in quarantine and enjoy the unlimited streaming.